Many years ago, the once great city of Atlantis ruled the planet above. But after countless uprisings and costly wars, King Neuros made a decision to withdraw from the world and disappear from history. We built a paradise under the sea, a world in harmony with all around us. As the outsiders developed more and advanced means of transportation, the chances of discovering our underwater kingdom became too great. We spoke to the wind, the sea, and the creatures around us, asking for their protection from those who live on land. Yes, as any parasite that enters our body, we destroyed each and every creature and vessel that ventured too close. But the outsiders could never stay away, leave well enough alone. In secret, they gathered their great forces with one objective, to invade and destroy our kingdom. But no weapons of man are matched for the Hydra, our great protector. Many lives were lost, and the outsiders, humiliated, retreated back to land. Yet we know the outsiders will return. They will never be content unless they can own what is not theirs, unless they can destroy all that is good. And for that day, we prepare. I don't like a look at that weather. Planes fly in and out of storms all the time. Come on, you barely got any sleep last night. Just try and get at least a few hours in before we land. Despite you taking out my points on whale migration, algae blooms, and sea lion populations, I do know what I'm talking about, and this is a lot of turbulence. I only took out those points because we have yet to verify them yet. We're the first speakers up. We set the tone for the whole conference. We're not published, nor do we have any funding, and they're not going to give it to us if we don't have anything to present. I know, but it's just... Plus, you slept on the couch, so how do you know if I got any sleep last night? Ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing rougher than usual turbulence. Please keep your seatbelt on at all times. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain. We'll be experiencing some moderate turbulence. We ask that everyone remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until we get through the drop pack. Thank you. There's something going on. We're fine. Look, Sam has gotten us back home safely, right? Yeah. It's normal, right? Yeah, yeah, this is normal. It's just turbulence. Excuse me? Yes? This, this is normal, right? It's rougher than usual, but we should be fine. <laughs> I'll get you a complimentary drink after this is over, okay? Yeah, thank you. First thing I'm doing when we get there is taking a long drag of this bad boy. Start our honeymoon vacation off right. And then it's straight to the beach. Mm, sounds perfect. I think I'm only... Me either. Let the flight attendant do her job. Thank you. Good? Do you see anyone else? Uh, 
You need to shade his face so that he doesn't get heat stroke, okay? Here. Okay. Here. 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 Oh, hey. Hey. Okay, hey, I'm gonna go look for my husband. You're gonna be okay? Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm here. Baby, Vera. what's up? Vera, Vera. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 I'm good. Okay, baby, I got you. I'm gonna get you out, okay? Hey, hey, I need your help. I'm gonna suck under the Please. chair. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. Oh, oh hey. Oh. What's your name? Yeah. My name is Vera. This is my husband, Del. I'm gonna need your help, okay? We need to lift this off him, okay? We're gonna pull it off, okay? Wait, wait, wait. You're bleeding. It's okay, I'll leave it out. It's okay, it's okay. You ready? Oh! 
Patrol the beach for, for others. What we can do is we'll find some sticks and we'll make a signal fire and 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 we can find some rocks and we'll we'll make a visible message. Remember, it'll be just like our expedition off the coast of Nova Scotia. That's right. We were we were stranded in the dead of winter and and we were surrounded by ice and we made it out okay. But we're in the middle of the ocean. The closest civilization is God knows how far. It's okay. We're marine biologists. We spend most of our lives on the ocean. Our chances of survival are good. Based on our flight trajectory, that puts us somewhere around, uh... The Devil's Triangle. That's not good. Also known as the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, that's not good. It's, it's okay. It's just a myth. It's okay. Well, we're in the Sargasso Sea. The Sargasso Sea? It's roughly between Bermuda and the Floridian coast. It's a, it's a well-studied and traveled route. Uh, yeah. And signaling a passing ship is going to be our best bet. I don't see anybody. It's, it's early in the day, so just... I don't want you going out and putting yourself in harm's way. I don't need your help right now, okay? Trust me, I will be right back. 30 minutes, okay? 30 minutes. If you're not back in 30 minutes, I'm coming to look for your deal. Okay, oh, I, will, I will check the shoreline, and I will check the rocks, and I will be back in 30 minutes, okay? Huh? Okay, and if you guys feel up to it, look for some fresh water and food, okay? I'll be right back. Are you? You're safe. Who are you? You're where where are we? You're safe. The plane, it, cr it crashed. It crashed. The triangle. It's bad luck. We're on an island in the Sargasso Sea. <sighs> the captain and I, we saw it on navigation, the, the Devil's Triangle. It's really important that you tell me if you or the captain sent out any sort of signal, some sort of distress no. signal. Does no. anybody know we're here? No. No, no, no. We tried, but we couldn't before the missiles hit us. Yeah, we saw them from our window, too. I guess someone really doesn't want us flying over their ocean. Oh. Hey, you're gonna need medical attention. I know, I know. What's your name? I'm Vera. I'm Sam. Here, come on. Yeah. It'll be safer with us with the others, okay? The others? Yeah. Is there a blonde woman, a woman with short blonde hair, and, and if she's about 5'5", five, five, she would have been with my brother, Justin. He's wearing a black shirt. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh my God. 
Watch out for with you. Hey, go save yourself. Hey, who are you? Get away from this island. You made a mistake. Run! 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 Trust best over our sacred land. No, please! Just just a misunderstanding! By order of the king, your punishment for fleeing is death by Hydra. Please, I will no longer flee. Please, please don't expose me to the Hydra. I'm a good worker. I'm sorry to the king and my you people. You risk exposing our world. No, I'm sorry to the king and my people. Please, please. No, Get her up. no, no, no. 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 Stop! What are you doing to her? Back to command. Take this one prisoner. Got this. Join me on the bridge. We have new orders from the palace. Achilles, take the new prisoners to the medical bay until arrival. The God King will want them presentable before trial. What? A God King? Move. Vera! Oh my God, what happened to her? Hey, what'd you do to my wife? Quiet. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Silence. No, no. You'll be okay. And what is this? Why is he in here? He's in the healing capsule. His wounds are much worse than yours. He'll be okay. That's Snackerconchus along What? What is it? Blue green algae. It's not typically blue green, it's usually a dark green. Maybe it's a hybrid with some sort of toxin, but you you need to get it off me. It's making me. It's a natural anesthetic, a painkiller, but it'll it'll make us very, very drowsy. Let him kill us. Please. 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 Hey, you're awake. Those are rare snailfish, only found at depths of 26,000 feet. So what? That puts us, like, 5,000 feet shy of the depth of the Marianas Trench? In what appears to be a World War II-era sub. Where are they taking us? I don't know. But for some reason, they want to keep us alive, apparently. I was so worried about you. You lost so much blood, I thought I was gonna lose you. Uh, honestly, I feel fine. I feel completely healed. Yeah, me too. I've never seen anything like this. The healing properties alone go against any existing science we know. Yeah, but, but why? Why do they want to keep us alive? I don't know. What happened to her? She 
had a brother and sister on the flight, and I don't think they made it. Where are we? Where are we? Relax. We don't know exactly, but we're on a submarine deep underwater. Prisoners must remain silent. Where are you taking us? You will soon see. A place as majestic and beautiful as Olympus. And that place would be? Atlantis. Del? Yeah, I'm seeing it. Please, I'll do anything. Please, just let us go. Hey! Keep quiet. Attacking innocent civilians? Is that the kind of people you are? Fear, don't. Ah! Hey, leave her alone! Oh, or the next hit of my spear will be across your brow. Punishment is swift and cruel for the uncivilized. Now move! Keep moving. Then you would be correct. Bring the outsiders forward. The God King and his household thank you for your service. We do not take kindly to intruders here in the Atlantean territory. You shall not dare turn your backs upon his highness at any time, for it's an affront to the gods, and therefore an affront to our king. You will be fed to the Hydra in the Grand Harbor where he sleeps beneath our tower of light. As is our custom. And what if we don't give a damn about your custom? Silence! Know your place in the House of Royalty. Mainlanders, you stand accused of crimes against the deep. Such vile offenses include trespassing, destruction of precious resources and property, Resisting arrest, and worst of all, an attempt to harm the only one of its kind, the Hydra. You now stand in the presence of Nereus II, descendant of Poseidon, commander of the Seven Seas, the God King of Atlantis. Changed since the last time your kind has come this way. More discomposed and haggard. Well, be you so uneducated that summonsing a response is strenuous? Speak, I say. I guess we will cut to the heart of the matter. How do you all plead for your crimes? 
Speak! Not guilty. We were not guilty. And we were not intending to think to just want to address His Highness as my Lord, my King, Your Eminence, or Lord Supreme. Unless you wish to be fed to the Hydra. Okay. I, yes, my... my King. So, you plead not guilty. I'm curious. Who do you think should bear the blunt of the responsibility of the crimes at your feet? I do. It's my fault. Sam, what are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed. Our airplane was attacked in the night. I assume one of your people had a hand in it. We protect our people and our lands from vile humans as we see fit. I'm a pilot. It's my fault our plane crashed into your land. That is not true. Your missiles hit our plane. Dozens are dead because of you. You're the guilty one. Silence! Proceed. I implore you to see our side and take mercy on us. We don't mean you or your people any harm. Spare my friends. Send them back to the mainland safely. Take me. Punish me. I have nothing else to lose. You say you're a pilot. Yes. Former military for the American forces. And you can command all kinds of craft, yes? Yes, a wide range. <laughs> oh, my friends, my friends. Please forgive a king and his theatrics. It's so rare that we have people who do not wish ill will to my fine city. Oh. Irritos, remove these shackles at once. Mm. Sire, I must advise against this. Or must I repeat myself? These are not our prisoners. They are guests. <sighs> Move. Cadmus. How fortunate it is that you found us in such dire circumstances. I hope my scouts have not routed you beyond repair. Nothing beyond a few bruised egos. <laughs> and humors, too. <laughs> we will make a court gesture of you yet. And what matter of personages are you two? Oh, um, oh. Uh, this is Ruth, my wife. Hi. And I'm Owen, Owen Dubois. It's French. They are fooled. Please, forgive my advisor. He has the bidding wit of an eel. <laughs> Wait, forgive me for the question, Your Highness, but how do you all speak English? If the rumors are true, it's been a millennia since Atlanta sank. You should all be speaking some sort of Phoenician. Well, you are not the first of your kind to pass this way. We have collected many things over the past century to better understand a potential enemy. I thought you just called us your friends. You're right. You are not our enemies. Now come. You must be weary. We will make bedchambers for your stay. No, no, no. We can't stay. We need to get back to the mainland immediately. Nonsense. No one turns down an invitation from the king. Guards. Please show our guests to their chambers. Well, in Atlantis. Atlantis. Who would have thought the legends were true? Hey, could you? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. I don't know. Something just still feels off about it. Like the king won't let us leave. I know, but we need to make them feel at ease with us if we want to keep those chains off us. If we want to survive here, we've got to... You got to play nice. Exactly. Big smiles, best behavior. And in the meantime, we make a plan to escape. 
We're gonna need weapons to get past the guards. We're gonna need a craft to get to the surface. I saw one in the harbor, but I have no idea how we're gonna get it with the Hydra guarding it. So let's gather some intel and we'll make a plan tonight. And I wanna talk to that vendor from the market. He looks so familiar. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. It's like, I recognize his face from books or articles or, or like really old photographs, like black and white ones. Same. Let's see if we can find them later. Yeah. Hey, and I know we've been fighting lately and I know we haven't been working well together, but we need to work together now. You with me? I'm with you 100%. We're gonna get out of here together. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. Lid, are you okay? Where are we? Lynch, I think we're the only ones that survived. I know. Sam! I can't believe she's gone. She really tried, Midge. I'm never flying again. I'll never be in a cockpit again. Okay. All right, we have to figure out where we are so we can get out of here. Well, it, it looks like there's footsteps, so may maybe someone's been here before? Okay. All right, let's follow that. Come on. She looks military. Maybe she'll help us. I do not want to deal with her. Should we go around? Yeah. Don't let her see you. Okay. Stay low. All right. Keep down. One more step and I'll slice your throats. Who are you? That is none of your concern, Mainlander. Look, please, our plane crashed and... Silence. Do you not think we already know this? Who do you think shot your plane down? Why? What did we ever do to you? Your people. You pollute our lands, you destroy our oceans. We will rise again. Until then, our king will be very pleased. We have more survivors. Come with me. We'll die for this! Justin, what did you do? I don't, I, I don't know. Is she dead? I don't, I don't know, Mitch. She's not alone. Others are gonna come looking for her. We gotta go, we gotta go. Okay. May I have your attention, please? The king sends his regards, but he will not be joining us. He is tending to an urgent matter with our committees. Your city is beautiful. I am particularly interested in the lighting. It's powered by some form of bioluminescent algae, correct? Well, you must be well learned. Uh, my husband and I uh, have dedicated our lives to the study of the ocean. Marine biology, as our people call it. Well, Atlanteans value the scientific mind above all else. And we wish to make certain that you all receive a tour of our flying kingdom. Uh, we wish to stay here, Your Highness. Is my hospitality not good enough for you? No, uh, we would just rather wait for Sam, uh, so we may celebrate the good fortune with the King of Atlantis together. You are all new to the city, so I'm only going to say this once. It would be wise not to turn down an offer from the King. I meant no disrespect. Uh, yeah, it would, it would be an honor to take a tour of your scientific facilities. And you too. Our guards have just informed us that you've both been... win. 
Yeah. We were on our way to our honeymoon when our plane crashed. Well, Atlantis boasted many sights and secrets of the ancient world. A fine and beautiful place for a honeymoon. The guards, of course, will show you anywhere you wish to go within the confines of the kingdom. Thank you. Go into the marketplace. Pick out something nice. Anything you like. The king will insist that you have a proper wedding gift. Thank you. When we're alone, we need to make a plan. Welcome to our very own Pearl of the Deep, the Atlantean science hub. All of our greatest minds have passed through these hallowed halls at one time or another. Oh, Del, look at this. That's the beach we crashed on. This is our defense map. Defense map? Yes. We've programmed a minefield of cutting-edge weaponry to safeguard our borders, but only used when absolutely necessary. This is our chief scientist, Archimedes. A prodigy among our collection of great minds. I leave you in our able hands. And what are these hexagons along the cumulonimbus? Wind bombs. From this table, my team and I have the ability to manipulate the elements of the triangle. With the hexagons, we pump the air full of enhanced substances that act as ice nuclei, which help to alter the formations of clouds from the microphysical level. So it's cloud seeding. Precisely. It forces, forces the flow of precipitation. It's not my area of expertise, but I know enough about it to know that the science is somewhat debatable. <laughs> I guess not anymore. Yes, and luckily for my team and I, the weather in the region does the rest of the work for us, turning these altered clouds into small hurricanes, which appear as the hexagons you see before you. Over the years, we have had to protect our city, keeping it hidden from the world above. We exist in seclusion, far away, no threat to you at all. Yet even after you outsiders failed to penetrate our world, you tried and tried again. Then finally the day came when your science could take you deep below the surface, closer to us than ever before. It was the first time in many years that we felt fear. In secret you came. You sent a submarine vessel to spy upon our city. Once again, our sisters and brothers of the sea protected us, ensuring that the outsiders would never return to tell of what they had seen. Though it would end in disaster for your kind, we knew Atlantis would never be the same. We would now have to learn of your science, learn of your means of invasion, and your means of destruction. And we pray that it does not make us what you are. Perhaps you'll find this next wonder of ours a bit more interesting. Come. This room houses the main power source for our entire civilization. Our light and machines. The simulations of night and day, sun, moon, and stars. Powered by a rare form of ocean floor algae with which my team has been able to communicate. <laughs> communicate? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Are you, are you trying to tell us that this wall is sentient? Correct. I've heard of some biochemical reactions among undersea plant life, but nothing that resembles an intelligible language. That is merely the beginning. They have a rich language they speak with to one another. All we had to simply do was learn it. They are so highly reactive, their bioelectric communication can connect with our neurology through touch. Isn't it beautiful? They provide us with many resources. Bioelectric energy, bioluminescence, bioelectric weapons, as you've no doubt experienced firsthand while here in Atlantis. Uh, like the spheres. Yes, the spheres. Even the Hydra responds to the algae. Without it, we would be at its mercy. That is amazing. The king will be most pleased to hear of your approval. And Archimedes is yours. Perhaps one day we may work together to bridge our peoples through a higher understanding and advanced drive. Maybe one day. 
Yeah, yes, thank you. It's obvious that there is much here that we don't understand. Come. There are many more sights to see. Aren't you coming? No, not this time. But please, this is... This is all for you. Proceed. Would you look at that? <laughs> I'll give you 15 American coins for the gold necklace. Try again, my friend. Come on, 15 rare coins? The necklace has got to be worth that. Do you think the value of gold is worth the loss of your backside? 50. 50? Um, just one second. I wanted to get you a solid gold necklace. You didn't have to use your own money. The king said he wanted to get us a wedding gift. I just I wanted to get you something nice. Honey, I would love a gold necklace. I would love to lay on the beaches here, to dine in the gorgeous palaces, to live like, like a queen for the rest of my life. And we can. Forget that we were in a plane crash, right? We are friends of the king. We can live like that for the rest of our lives if we stay here. Oh, and this isn't our home. We have lives up there. And jobs. And debt. And friends. And family. We need to find Del and Vera. They know the ocean. They can help us get out of here. And maybe we can help them. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. As much as I don't want to leave this place, we have to. And finding them will help. I promise we, you and I, will get back home. Okay, let's go. It's cold. I know. What is it? Do you hear something? No. Could have sworn I heard something. Hello? Who's out there? Show yourselves! Look out! Ah! Run, Justin! Don't move away. Mitch! Pitiful. No more threats from you, weak man lender. It was all my fault. I could have done something. Anything when I had the chance. I could have saved everyone, including my brother and sister. I failed. You say your craft spun out of control. A terrible accident caused by our more aggressive defenses. You are not the genius of such tragedy. And I give you my humblest apologies for the misfortunes that we have brought upon you. No, it's OK. It's not your fault. You were just protecting your people, which is what I should have been doing. Well, I had the chance. I had hundreds of people's lives in my hands. I failed. The worst part is, is I don't even know what happened to Mitch and Justin. Who? My family. Oh. You see closure. As do we all after a brush with Hades. You know, I used to think about settling down someday. Raising a family. Growing old somewhere green and beautiful. 
But I don't know, I guess after serving in the military so long, something changed. Seeing all that violence, war, hate. I mean, what kind of person would I be to raise children in a world like this, you know? That's when I became completely dependent on my siblings. They mean everything to me. <sighs> Sorry. I don't know why I'm unloading on you. What does a king care about the misfortunes of a pilot? Well, on the contrary, as king, it is my sacred duty to safeguard the happiness of all my people. I may not be able to bring the dead back to life, but perhaps I can give you something to lift in your spirits. Come with me. I want to show you something. Look at that. An impressive sight, is it not? You could say that. I suspected this would be a gift best suitable for someone like you, a military woman. You say you can command all kinds of craft, yes? Well, yeah. I mean, I have friends in all branches of the military, and they certainly taught me things, but I'm only trained to fly planes. Well, we have collected them all. The jewels? of a lost world repurposed for an Olympian fleet. I can see why this place is a paradise. It's beautiful. Yes, a paradise. Far from your troubles and experiences from the mainland. But as all things that have life, this great paradise has an expiration date. What do you mean? Atlantis is dying, Samantha. It's already begun. We are but 1% what we used to be. I don't understand. I did not want to trouble you or your friends. But as the oceans are beginning to be crippled more and more each day, and Mother Earth being drained of her natural resources, our brightest minds have already predicted an intimate doomsday. Doomsday? From climate change? I'm afraid this way of life that my family has safeguarded for so many centuries is on the verge of collapse, Samantha. The ocean is a delicate ecosystem, something that your mainland destruction is quickly tipping into murky waters. After the oceans fall, thereafter, so will Atlantis. And your surface world will not survive much longer after that. As the air is heated, so is the ocean. The great shifts will stop the currents. The marina life will perish. Ecosystems on land that are connected to the ocean will collapse. And your cities will flood. No. Our governments have been making this fight a top priority. Climate change affects all of us. We have hosted a handful of humans in the past, Samantha, in secret. They do not listen. Your governments are lying to you. No. And simply, they do not understand the destruction they are causing. No, you're wrong. You have to be wrong. There's got to be something we can do. Maybe your tech can do something, something to stop this, or, or I can. I'll do anything I can to help. This is all of it. Any information we find could help us escape. Turn the flash off. My phone! That vile thing blinded me. Mainland scum. Get away from Whoa. me. Cool down. All right? I know you're a black belt in Aikido and can kick ass now that you're finally healed, but we have to keep a low profile. Just, just get the phone, OK? Just going to just gonna get the phone. I'm just gonna get the phone. Just get the phone. All right. Stand down, stand down. Stand down. I'm sure the uh, mainland has meant no harm. I think we all can agree we don't need any broken bones today. 
Thank you. We have to maintain ourselves on this island, not at the cost of our dignity. You understand that? Yes, sir. Of course. You? Yes. Thank you. I'm Ruth. I am called Pluto. That's right. We were talking earlier about the necklaces. You said your name is, um, Pluto? I just said it. You didn't hear me? No, I, I got it. I am named after the gods who released the hounds of hell. So you understand, you have to maintain dignity here. Go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Pluto. Thank you. Hey, that guy back there. I know this sounds crazy, but I think he's a famous admiral from World War II. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? Listen to me. So my grandfather, he used to tell me all these stories of his time in the military and show me photos. And that guy was in the pictures. I just, I just can't remember his name. Well, he said his name was Pluto. I heard him, but look, I don't think he's an Atlantean. Didn't you hear the way he talked to those guards? Okay, but what, you wanna go talk to him? No, no, let's get the others and then we'll come back. Well, wait. Why don't we get the necklace? So bad. Uh, drop my phone again. Damn it. Screen is completely cracked. Oh, and look at this. Owen? What are you doing? Shh. Keep your voice down. My forces are willing and ready to assist you in all things you may need to undertake this mission. What's the king doing with Sam? Oh, wait. Let me get this straight. You want me to capture one of those? Your updated World War II allied sub? And deliver our best chances of survival, yes. I would not ask you this if it was not absolutely critical. This has the potential of saving all mankind and saving the planet, Samantha. Well, why not ask one of your own commanders to do it? Why do you need me? I believe you can agree that your governments are a little hostile to outsiders. Once they see us coming, they're naturally going to feel we are invaders and they're going to blow us from the water. This responsibility is best suited for one of their own. And besides, my sensories cannot survive above the surface for too long due to their life living under the surface. But what is this thing that'll save the planet from climate change? <laughs> it is our most ambitious technological achievement yet. It has the ability to repair the ice caps, to dilute the pollution from your cities and machines, heal nature from the ground up. You will be a hero not only to your peers, but in the history books. People from all different creeds and color will know you. I don't think I can do that, Your Highness. I mean, I only just today found out that Atlantis is real, that all of this is real. And, and now you're expecting me to, to believe that the world is going to end? You're right. I'm sorry. This is such a colossal weight to carry. Should not have burdened you with such a heavy cargo. And so soon, after losing loved ones. Sorry, I understand if you cannot undertake such a heroic effort. Wait, how does this thing work? A device? My scientists will brief you on the details later. But it's absolutely essential that it's activated on dry land. If I do this, if I take on this mission, if I helm your sub, I humbly ask for just one favor in return. Name your price, your heart's desire. My family. I know you may not be able to bring the dead back to life, but what if they're still out there, just 
drifting aimlessly. I need to know if they're alive or, you know. I ask that you send your scouts to search for them. And if they don't find anything, then I'll know. You are a fearful one for the ones you love. Consider the bargain set. I will send my forces immediately. Thank you. You're welcome. You must be tired. Return to your chambers. We launch at dawn. Did the mainlander prove useful? Quite useful. Now go. Make the necessary changes to the command sub so we launch at dawn. Is the weapon ready for deployment? Weapon? Yes, my king. As requested. Archimedes and her team have integrated the nuclear bomb's core with the crystallized algae. This will increase the destructive fallout 100-fold. <laughs> good, good. Yes, summon me to the harbor once all has been made ready. I wish to see the bomb loaded myself. Now go. We have to get to the others and warn them. Come on. You got. You don't want this. is our advanced weapons foundry. It's here we take the sunken remains of your wars and upgrade them into refined offensive accessories. This technology is unprecedented. Is your ammunition similar to the artillery we use? Yes, well, with the exception of the bioelectrical spears. The spears are tipped with crystallized algae that charge electromagnetically with our power grid. Other weapons, such as this grenade, contain concentrated crystallized bioluminescent algae, much more powerful than your explosives and completely separate from our power grid. That's the weaponized mineral that you mentioned earlier. Yes. Its unique properties reinforce the casing, propel the projectile further, explode with greater force. But I thought you said the algae was sentient. We do what we must to protect our city. I assume it's very volatile. It merely requires an ignition source. And yet you rely on the enforcement of an undersea creature, the Hydra? Right. Where is the Hydra right now? Just out in open water? Where we first saw it when we were on the island? No. The hydras and its guard post where we feed it and tend to it. We only send it to the open ocean if we feel the borders of our city need protecting. May I? Of course. It's truly remarkable how streamlined your defenses are. Elegant. Imagine with these findings what we could publish for our work. Not to mention all the people that we could help back home. There you go again. V. Talking about publishing before helping people. That was right. One must make sure one can trust the findings. Correct? Of course.
You know, I've been meaning to... They cannot know that I am here. What's wrong? Who can't know you're here? Where's Owen? They killed him. What? The king. He fed him to that monster in the harbor of Hydra. They murdered him. No more playing nice. We gotta get out of here right now. Yeah. No. Wait, 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 wait. We cannot go without Sam. Look, where where is she? Go. We have to get there before they For what? King. He has her wrapped around his little finger. She is gonna captain a submarine to the coast and nuke the mainland. No. Oh, she thinks she's gonna save the world. Something about ending climate change. We have to find her. What, what, what about the chambers? Where they brought us when we first got here. Yes, yes, let's go. Someone's coming. Uh, uh, hide, hide, hide. We need to find them. With their knowledge and our tech, Atlantis will be unstoppable. I told the king not to trust those mainlanders. Wait. Take this. Make yourself useful. control panel. Archimedes said it charges electromagnetically, so any forceful impact between an electromagnet and a conductor will cause a pulse. I thought you were a marine biologist. I minored in electrical engineering. It's good to have options. Archimedes also said that yeah, the algae is highly reactive. Is there anything on him? Anything we can use? No. No keys, no weapons, nothing. Can we just steal a submarine to get out of this place? That's the plan. And if we can find some weapons, even better. Archimedes showed us how to work the city's power source. If we can get back to the main generator, I can try and shut down the power, and we can use that time to steal a submarine. Hey, Ruth, if we run into some trouble, do you think you can take them down? Yeah, they're pretty tough. But if we take out their tech, I got this. No, no, no. Don't touch it. It'll still be charged. Come on. Go clear it. Let's go. In here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. The generator should be just up ahead. Oh! You two, keep going. Secure the room while you take care of the generator. Okay. Vera, are you sure about this? No. I don't want you getting hurt. I'm not sure, but what's the job of a scientist if not to jump into the unknown for the betterment of the planet? Absolutely. I mean, if the spears are connected to the algae power grid, if we knock it out, then it should at least disable them momentarily. My thoughts exactly. Believe, I, I believe you. Believe me about what? That you weren't just interested in getting your work published. Oh, damn it. Someone's coming. Yeah, I know. Vera? Vera? They're coming. Uh, we need to hide. Come uh, on. Are they here? They must have heard us coming. How could you let them out of your sight? The king will be much displeased with your performance, Archimedes. Of the two of us, whom was better by the outsiders? I'm certain I don't know what you mean. Your incompetence seems to say otherwise. Don't condescend. Enough. I want guards posted on every major passageway. We can't let them escape. What they could do with that information. Okay, we don't have much time. 
Ruth is right. This whole place is going to be crawling with guards soon. I know. I know. Our committee said the algae's bioelectric communication interacts with our neurology. So I just needed to feel what I wanted to do just as much as I need to verbalize it. Let's distract Atlantis. Come on. I mean you and the ocean. No harm. Shut everything down. Shut everything down. <laughs> Come on. The king has been notified. Now we will regroup with the rest of the team. We will find these main ladders and we will just... Sam, are you there? Sam, it's Vera. Where is she? She should be here. But you said she came back to her chamber. She did. Do you think something happened to her? I don't know. Oh, we gotta move. She's gotta be somewhere. I hope you three are enjoying your escapade. Though my forces and I don't take too kindly to you shutting down our power, I don't think you're friends of Atlantis after all. You people are murderers. Filthy, disgusting monsters. Is it true? You guys are planning on dropping a nuclear bomb on North America and triggering a worldwide flood? We do what we must for the preservation of our people. So that's how you justify killing billions of innocent people? You're providing a mercy for the planet. You're the ones polluting the oceans. For really providing the solution. You're sick. Enough. Lock them away in the dungeons. Archimedes. I bring news from the surface. The king wishes to see us at once. Go. Preparations are almost complete, my king. My team and I have made some last minute upgrades to the weapon as specified. Its destructive power should now encompass all of the enemy's coastline, leaving us a sizable part of the West to salvage and conquer at a later time. Good. Once again, you make me proud, Archimedes. Atlantis owes you a debt of gratitude. You honor me and my house. Your Majesty, the pilot, as requested. Samantha, I trust you are rested and refreshed. Relatively. What a day we have ahead of us. I hope you're prepared. Isn't it magnificent? I've had my scientists fitting your craft all night long for your daring adventure. Are you not amazed by the sights around us? I'd prefer to find out what exactly that is. That is merely a precautionary measure. I know a nuke when I see one. I do not seek to pull the wool over your eyes, Samantha. The warhead is merely the submarine's arsenal, particularly decorative. Funny. Calling a weapon of mass destruction decorative. Do I detect a tone of suspicion in your voice? Well, I find it hard to believe that a peaceful planet saving mission requires such destructive cargo. Unless forcing hostility on mainland was your intention all along. These assuming delusions do not sit well on your brow, Samantha. Now come, let me show you the upgraded feature to the bridge. I know what you're planning, whether you're willing to admit it or not, and I'm letting you have a chance before you have the blood of millions on your hands. Eratos, bring me the prisoner. With pleasure, sir. Come on. Come on, just a little bit more. Come on. Come on. Oh, the stupid thing. 
Me? Oh, good, you're awake. How long was I out for? I don't know, an hour or so. You can thank her snake of an advisor for that. How's Ruth doing? She's, um... She's still processing, just... Just leave her be for now. Okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. I could just get the right sequence or feeling. It's it's hard to explain. You won't get out of here that way. Why did they arrest you? I was looking for you at the palace. They didn't like that. How did you end up in Atlantis? We had lost our way. We were trying to outmaneuver a Nazi submarine. We were following orders. We were diving through the region when we got lost in a triangle. Suddenly, everything went black, everything went dark. Those who were able to get out of the sub first were eaten by the sharks. There were hundreds waiting for us. Only a few of us were able to make it to the shore. My right hand man, Horn, and I jumped together. I almost didn't make it to shore. A shark came for me, but Horn saw it first and got in the way. I tried to save him. I will never forget the screams. I blacked out for a long period of time. I don't know exactly how long. The Atlanteans, they kept me alive. Now I know why. They wanted military information, tactics about what we're doing while we're there. I lost a lot of my memory while I was there. But they fed me algae, something to make me remember my past. But they misdirected me. They thought I was a petty officer, not a commander. And that's why they never asked you to pilot their world-destroying craft. But a lot of my memory did come back. It was all a lie. The way they treated you, the way they treated me. They will pay for it. I'm going to help you get out of here. And I'm coming with you. Deal. Sam! <laughs> oh my god, I thought I lost you. I thought I lost you too. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Where's Justin? Where is he? Is he okay? Midge. Midge, where's Justin? That's enough for now. Eratos. Eratos. No! Prisoner away. No, bring her back! Bring her back right now! I've upheld my end of the bargain. A lovely family reunited once again. What did you do to my brother? The boy was hurt. So I guess you're now using Midge to keep me in line, huh? Is that it? I knew I liked you above your friends the moment you stepped foot into the palace. You keep up considerably well. And if I refuse? I advise you not to find out what resides on the other side of that thought. The sub leaves in one hour, with you commanding it. If you want your sister to live, I advise you do not test me any further. So we can't go back to the power room, since that'll be secure by now. So plan A is a no-go. OK, so plan B. Plan B is we use as much of their tech against them as possible, and, and we break into the weapons room, and we use their weapons to get to the sub in the harbor. And the Admiral can pilot us out of here, with Stan's help. Someone's coming. Last meal? What do you mean, last meal? Well, you guys are scheduled to be executed within the hour. Death by Hydra. I assume. Shut your mouth. You'll be joining them. Hey. She's out cold. Oh, barely. Ruth. It's for Owen. 
These people need to pay for what they did. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, this is it. Grab whatever you want. They must be at the sub. Pluto, I think that suits you. A hammer. <laughs> That's a good choice. They used to call me that back in the academy. But we're gonna have to hit him with something harder than that. All right. It works. All right, let's get out of here. My lord, there's been a breach in the dungeons, and I've been alerted of an explosion in the weapons vault. Dispatch the guards to safeguard the entrance to the harbor. I do not want anyone to interfere with this launch. Yes, my king. My children, standing before you is our champion. She shall go forth on our behalf to help usher in a new era of prosperity and power for all Atlantean folk. A glorious age where my kingdom once again shall rule over all mankind. An age free from the cruel grip of destructive governments. May the gods on high Olympus watch over us and keep our endeavors forever in their minds. Damn. Whatever they're forcing you to do, don't. They're just gonna kill me anyway. It doesn't have to be like this. You can still call it off. Please take our good captain to the command bridge. Where is everybody? There they are. Shoot the prisoners. Don't let them pin us down! We'll die if we stay here! It is a shame finding ourselves on opposite sides of the board. I thought we would be comrades of learning. Do it! Keep moving! Uh, push them back! We can't let them breach the harbor! We must keep fighting! Is there another way back to the harbor? Luda, are you all right? You three, you get ready to run. Wait, what? What are you talking about? No. Go, go! Let them go. Prison rats. Let's see what strength you have, mainlander. Show me. Let me see you embarrass yourself. I won't do it. I refuse to be a part of your heinous plan. What a waste. Kill the girl. Sam! No, stop! Leave them alone! Atlanteans, do your city proud! Remove these outsiders from my sight! Highest marks to you. I did not think you could keep up with an Atlantean. It's all talk. Show me something. All right, I'll honor you with a swift death. Catch. You should have stayed away from me. to its final destination. Guards, take her.
drop the weapons. Now. Do me a favor. Give my regards to Hades. You are merely just a name on a long, failed list. Stop or burn! This is for you, Horn. You disappoint me, Sam. You had so much potential. Uh, Sam. Look at this. Bitch! Whatever. No, 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 There's a girl. my friend this is out here they call me Pluto I was a admiral in World War II all right everybody strap yourselves in are you ready and prepared to launch yes sir I'm gonna get out of here full throttle the torpedoes. We need to be clear of this city. We're clear of the dome! Ready. Now! Okay? You are never flying me anywhere again. I love you too. I never saw anything so beautiful. Thank all of you. Thank you.